Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I just want to remind you that my current address is homeless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody thought I had uh, I had changed addresses, but I'm not the one that changed the address on my mail. Poop, poop. <laughs> I'm still homeless. I uh, spent all night last night homeless. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I just wanted to know, again, a traffic citation can be used uh, by the city of Squim or are somebody, what are you going to do? Uh, my life is somewhat simple. Mm -hmm. I can find myself here tomorrow making videos. Yes. I can walk around all night long. There might be some AM. Oh, uh, might rain tonight. <laughs> you know, as cold as it is and the pneumonia and the broken teeth and the torture and the terrorism and <laughs> the harassment and the maliciousness, the vexatiousness. <laughs> like there was another word for discrimination when I was looking at my emails today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to know exactly what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you tell me, okay, <laughs> are you going to recognize my victim's rights? Because as I see it, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, do you, well, let's go through the, let's go through the, the, the court case account, or is it a court case, or, or is it a court account? <laughs> is it an actual numerical value approach? Now, somebody said I was wrong, because, um, mm -hmm. Jefferson County, State of Washington, is plaintiff versus Paul Budnick. You remember that half a million dollars? <laughs> I thought it was excessive. Yes, you did. <laughs> I thought I had a good lawsuit on that one. <laughs> and then there's Mike Van Proyen in 1023 Kitchen Dick Road. Yes, he's going to be preaching on Sunday, and <laughs> I'm going to be out there walking around with no knowledge of exactly where my stuff is at. Um, now, uh, City of Squim, yes, mm-hmm. Is, it doesn't say the state of Washington. No, it's all the city of Squim. Everybody in the city of Squim makes all the decisions for the rest of the state. <laughs> uh, it, it, has it always worked that way that one small city in the state gets to decide what every city and county has to experience? Poo or, um, well, that's the way it's looking. Uh huh. Nobody wants to acknowledge that this uh, mental health evaluation that was agreed to. Yeah. And then the, the possibility of incarcerating me in a mental facility is yes. with prejudice or without prejudice. Which is the case still open? <clears throat> now, I could say, mm -hmm. you sure could. Mm -hmm. Somebody's just refusing to just close the, the accounts. Yeah. You're refusing to acknowledge the dissolution of marriage, right? The serving of somebody other than myself, right. The service of myself in the Squim Public Library, right. Not serving me before issuing court orders, yes. Now, there's three different, like permanent, and I have to find that in the DV manual because I know there's three variations of a There's temporary, mm -hmm. there's permanent, and then there's like uh, something that means it lasts forever, right. And I was absolutely sure that I was not, over the last two and a half years, willing to give up my custody rights of my sons. Does anyone know where my sons are at? Well, you used a forgery and a fraud to issue a protection order. Yes. You issued a protection order in the state of Washington that was served on me on Guam in 2011. Yes. You used it to take custody of my sons, and you gave that custody to my wife. Yes. Then you uh, issued a dissolution of marriage. Yes. Where uh, somebody as the the domestic violence advocacy of uh, Clallam County. Yeah. Uh, alleged that they had knowledge of uh, violating the civic, uh, the civil proceedings. Yes. <laughs> Of the uh, actually, what what is it? The restraint provisions of the protection order, mm -hmm. and they had me arrested on the twenty seventh while serving me the dissolution of marriage. Now, when mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is this state? Yes, every state going to recognize the fraud, the forgery, and the perjury, pooch, the kidnapping, child abduction? Yes. Yes, yes. The aiding and abetting those that have committed treason or quite possibly mistreason of felony. <laughs> you know, misprison, I, it's a classy felony. <laughs> For those of you in the conspiracy, <laughs> let's say you, you got named as a, a participant in misprison of treason. And it's not a felony. No, 
not a felony. Does that affect your ability to work in government? Does it have to be an actual felony? Or, well, you're. Do you still have a badge and a gun? Because I would have taken it a long fucking time. <laughs>